welcome back or should i say welcome back to me because it's been a minute honestly guys i wish i had a better excuse but the truth is by the way i'm sure you can tell i look funny i'm doing my makeup right now i'm only one eyebrow deep but i just wanted to say i wish that i had a better excuse as to where i've been but the truth is i just needed a break i have been doing youtube for four years and when i first started i was hot out the gate ready to do it and i also was excited to share a very new part of my life which was motherhood at the time but obviously like things have since changed i'm not a new mom anymore none of us are at this point well most of my viewers are not anymore some people start their youtube channels with the intent of becoming like a famous youtuber and being a famous influencer and all of that and i just did it because it seemed fun but what i found is that i love connecting with the women that do watch my channel and that is what I keep going for. This was the first time I've ever stopped filming completely and I'm not gonna lie I enjoyed it. I did but I'm back and I'm ready to start posting again. I did do a lot of stuff this summer that I thought I would film and a lot of it I actually did film and just never posted like when I went to Arizona. I just came back from Raleigh but I think we're just gonna start fresh from here. Life is about to start changing again because football's back in season which means Brandon's gonna be on the road again and school's about to start. I'm gonna be homeschooling Margo this year and I can't wait to show you guys all of that if you've been following along over on Instagram then you may have seen a little bit of that because I've been really active in this time off on YouTube on my Instagram story so that I don't completely like lose contact with everyone. I'm not gonna get into like what's later this year we're just gonna live in the moment and vlog this weekend. So today we have a lunch reservation uh, somewhere in Atlanta. I can never remember the name of this restaurant but they have like really good lobster rolls so we're gonna go try this place. Also I may need to squeeze in a nail appointment at some point this weekend because my nails chipped and I also like I mentioned a minute ago, I'm gonna be homeschooling Margo, so I need to go and start picking up her things for the school year. Yeah, that's what's going on. I'm gonna quickly finish up my makeup and then we can start the day. All right, I barely did my hair. I just kind of brushed it and left it. I didn't style it or anything. I'm wearing this maxi black dress. You may have seen this because I took it to Disney with us, but I'm not sure if I showed it ahead of time or not. It's from um, Image Boutique, and then I have on these mules. I haven't worn them in forever, and I figured if I'm ever gonna wear them again, now's the time because summer's almost over, and I think they're cute. I I think I bought these for when we went to the Bahamas a couple years ago, like right before COVID. Margot is in a very bad mood. She's got on her white Old Navy dress, Brandon's socks, an old purse that she found in the closet, and yeah, she's not happy right now. So I'm gonna just catch you up to speed really quick on the things that you have missed uh, because I wasn't vlogging, but if you follow on Instagram, you would probably already know all of this. What happened first? We went to Henry County, and while we were there over the weekend, my car got broken into, my windshield got broken, and my driver's side door got smashed, like my window got smashed. I'll put photos here. So we called the insurance company, police and everything were involved. And it wasn't just my car, it was like, the camera kept falling. It was my car and like several other cars. Either way, it had been a nightmare dealing with Safelite trying to get the windshield and the window replaced. I know on my channel I talked about the last time my windshield got um, broken and Safelite had the wrong glass put in but it happened again and so they came out, ended up being all summer long basically dealing with them. They brought three windows and got it wrong three times. So finally Brandon and I took it to Safe Light and they kept it over the weekend last weekend? Yeah, yeah. and finally fixed it. And we think they just took it to the dealership. Next time uh, I will go straight to the dealership instead of dealing with Safe Light and let them process it through insurance because um, it was a nightmare dealing with them. But anyway, so that's one thing. What's the other thing? Oh, the birds. Also saved to a highlight on my Instagram. We discovered that there was a baby bird's nest on the wreath on our front door and the mother died. So now we were, I don't even want to say tasked because we actually enjoyed it. Yeah. But we were in charge of four baby birds and getting them from what we think is about two days old to out of the nest. And I documented the entire thing on my Instagram, but we were hand feeding them with baby bird formula and doing the whole thing round the clock. I had to go out of town. Well, I didn't have to. I went to Arizona to visit my best friend. So Brandon was here feeding the birds. It was just like a whole ordeal, but we got them to out of the nest and it was a really fun and 
you know exciting experience that we did not ask for but like we're, we're glad that we had mm. it was cute so if you want to go see that on my stories you can there was a lot of really helpful people on my Instagram telling me what to do because Lord knows we didn't know what we were doing we did a lot of like long lunches at Chateau Elan and in restaurants and play dates with friends and we t I took the kids berry picking and Museums. oh yeah Brennan took them to Fernbank Museum the other day when I was out of town and yeah just good wholesome summer fun it was a really good summer I feel like we did so much and I it, this was our first like real summer out out and we loved every minute of it so yeah now we're ready for fall. I want you to call your parents and see what your mother is doing. <laughs> Wasn't there a sushi restaurant right here? Well, I literally oh, yeah, was that's about it right to there. say that. Oh, yeah. yeah, we've been okay. there before. Yeah, we ate there before oh, back in the day. Sushi restaurant. You want sushi? What? Do you want some sushi? No, I like it. I like it, mommy. I think you do. You ate my sushi the other day and you liked it. Here, hold my hand. Yeah, I see all the rocks. You ready to eat? No. no. All right, we're eating at Beetle Cat today. <laughs> my little vlogger over there. <laughs> Look. Yep, that's fine. Right in the middle. So there's the churro, the chocolate lust, the plain, and the strawberry. I am just so shocked at how quick the food came. Margo doesn't even have her donut yet and all the food just came out. So she's about to eat the strawberry donut. We also ordered a grilled cheese and um, french fries for the kids and then we are gonna switch plates but we got the lobster roll which I heard about on TikTok and that's how we knew to come here. And then we also have the blue crab omelet and we're just gonna switch halfway through. So it's been a couple hours since I've been on here. Uh, the kids are still napping and Brandon took a nap. I just sat on the couch with him while he slept and played around on my Instagram. I'm having such a hard time with Instagram now that they're no longer a photo sharing app and it's mostly just reels. I like taking pictures and I take a lot of photos. <laughs> so um, not having your photos get pushed on Instagram anymore is annoying because people can't see them. But I'm gonna keep sharing on there because that's what I like to do. Anyway, we are headed outside now because we've decided what we wanna do in the backyard as far as landscape is concerned. Brandon thinks we can do it ourselves, which makes me excited, but nervous. So we're going out there now so he can measure. Come on. Along this back wall, we have decided that we are going to plant limelight hydrangeas. We have been completely influenced by TikTok. I think that that's what's going to be really pretty. They grow really big over a couple years and we hope that they take up this entire back fence. Online, it says you should do them about three feet apart or so. And so I guess this is just so that we know how many we need to buy if we do every three feet. How long is that? Is my guess correct? What was your guess? I, uh, I assumed we'd probably need to buy three to five more on this side. Yeah, about five more. It's like 17 feet, technically 15, 15 of usual space. Yeah. yeah. Okay. So we're getting dinner ready now for the kids. They're finally hungry after that big breakfast. Um, so we have Kid Fresh meatballs for them. It's a quick dinner tonight. And I discovered this combo the other day, but it's this rib rack barbecue sauce, honey flavored with a little bit of fig jam. This is what I use on like charcuterie boards. And I mixed it together on Margot's meatballs the other day, like two weeks ago maybe, and she loved it. So Brennan's redoing it tonight. And then we have some tater tots in the air fryer. Okay, it is the next day. And uh, we're off to go, well, we meaning us, um, to get homeschool stuff for Margot. So I need like a big trifold board and I need to buy a laminator, lamination sheets and some dry erase markers. I'm trying to think what else do I need? I don't know. I have a list on my phone. So we'll just attack that when we get there. All right, so this laminator, I think this is what I'm looking for. 
So what's the difference between this and this? 65 and 150. So we'll get two packs of these. Oh, it is hot. While I was in Target, I bought about like other things too, like, you know, paper towels and things like that. But I bought this cute little first day of school sign for Margo and Bash. He's going to pre-K this fall again. And then the other thing I bought that is just, I guess, fun for you to see is this tray and it will just go on my coffee table. We can keep the remotes and I'll probably put like a little flower arrangement in it. That'll be cute on there. There's a Home Depot right across this parking lot and I really need to go in there and look for some planters for my boxwoods. And I just, I'm not convinced that my Home Depot is gonna have it. And it, so while I'm here near another one, I think I'm just gonna go look at least. And if they do have them, I'll get them. My boxwood trees don't show up though for another like four days, but I at least wanna see if they have them. I would, wish, I would just like a, like a couple big terracotta planters for the front porch. So these big ones are exactly what I'm looking for. This one and that one back there. The problem I'm having is they're all scratched up. And I could either age them myself to hide that or just leave them as is or try to find them somewhere else. I'm not sure. The other thing is, is I don't know how much these even are. Okay, so the lady came and helped me. Uh, they did a price check. They're $68 a piece, which is perfect because I thought they were gonna be more like 100 a piece. So, lovely. I'm so happy right now. I can't wait to get them home. On either side, like probably at the bottom corner, like, yeah, right there. They're a little scratched, but I figured they could, um, like they look less new, I guess is what I'm saying. And then um, if they look too bad, I'll just age them myself. I'm wondering with the labels, if I can do my hair dryer trick and pull that off. Do you like them? Yeah. Mm -hmm. And then the boxwoods will be here, I think, on on Thursday. The only thing is, I'm gonna ask you guys, and I'm gonna put it on my Instagram, is once I put the trees in, what do I cover it with? Like the like the planner that they're gonna come in, so that you can't see it. You know what I mean? No. I thought you just so like you're gonna well well it's not the trees aren't real they're faux. So I'm gonna put the whole plant like the whole tree down into the planter. I'm gonna probably need to pop it up a little bit higher depending on how tall the trees Those look like filler. filler right what but what's the filler that i put on top not moss you guys know let me know down in the comments um and i'm gonna ask on my instagram too but yeah i think that's gonna look so pretty and now i need to find a new wreath even though the wildlife people told us <laughs> no wreaths so we don't listen. so we don't get more birds <laughs> but i don't think it'll happen again I'm so excited. So we'll revisit this when the um, the boxwoods come. Brandon's in full dad mode. He looks just like how my dad used to look when he would cut the grass. It's a couple hours later and I've just been out here doing manual labor, basically cutting the overgrowth on our bushes. I have no idea what I'm doing, but I think they look a little bit better than how they did. I think I need to shape that one up a little bit better, more round at the top, because it's kind of flat there. And then I cut this one down because it was growing too high. I still have more to do like these bits right here. But yeah, that's what we've been out here doing and just trying to get the yard and everything pretty for the upcoming fall season. I can't believe I'm out here doing manual labor. <laughs> All right guys, it's the next day and I was hoping that I was gonna be able to share the homeschool curriculum that I bought for Margo uh, in this video, but it's already pretty long and I don't want to drag on too, too long and, and then lose your interest. So I'll save that for the next vlog. We'll deep dive into it so you can see what it is and how I'm setting it up and all of that stuff then. So I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, please give it a thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe. I know a lot of the people who watch my channel aren't actually subscribed and I can see that. So I hope that you guys will subscribe, but if not, just give it a thumbs up and comment below and I will see you guys in the next one. Bye. <music>